Thanks for tuning into this latest video weather briefing. We have a lot to talk about here, uh, so let's get with it. This is Alex Tardy, meteorologist with National Weather Service. Significant heavy rainfall and heavy snow expected um, early next week, Monday through Wednesday across Southern California. We're looking at the period Monday through Wednesday with the main impacts for periods of heavy rain and periods of heavy snow in the mountains, especially above 6,000 feet. We have already been in a wet March and why that's important is the ground is nearly saturated. It is wet. We had places that were 200, 300% of normal, even more in the deserts, but even our coastal areas saw one and a half times what they should see in an average March. So far this water year, that brings us up to around normal in much of Southern California already. Uh, you can see Northern California not faring out uh, nearly as well, still up around 50% only of their average rainfall and precipitation. All right, the focus is going to be across um, the Sierra Nevada and Southern California over the next seven days. That's where the significant precipitation is going to be occurring thanks to the track of this low pressure system. Here are the totals. Don't focus on the exact numbers, but most city locations between two and three inches of rain over basically a three day period, Monday through Wednesday. Quite a bit of spillover in the deserts and quite a bit of enhancement uh, locally around, if not more than five inches on our coastal slopes. Snowfall will be big. Like I said, above 6,000 feet, we should be talking in feet, one to two feet of snow uh, with some snow accumulation all the way down to 5,000 feet. We're going to see uh, locally around three feet of snow up around the base of ski areas in the San Bernardino Mountains, up around 7,500 feet. They will be windy. Um, I think the main winds will, will be developing on Sunday across the deserts and mountains uh, and quite windy in those areas and especially on Monday. And even our coastal areas, some high winds uh, gusting 25, 35 miles per hour on Monday as a frontal system moves through with the initial rain. Where's the storm coming from? It's following that red line as I show here. It's breaking away from the main polar jet stream, but it is cold. It's pulling off a piece of that cold air and it's gonna slowly drift over the Pacific, gather some tropical moisture from the south, and then uh, slowly inch our way uh, into the California Bight late on Tuesday. And because of the slow movement, that will bring the initial band on Monday of heavy rain and heavy mountain snow and then the colder storm Tuesday, Wednesday. So on Tuesday, look for a significant widespread band of showers moving through. Now, uh, what do I mean tapping into moisture? As shown here, clearly moisture will be tapping in with the frontal band. So we have a very healthy subtropical tap on Monday and notice even Monday evening, very slow to exit across San Diego County. It's still focused over us late Monday evening. Now, the main storm system, the instability, the energy of the storm does not arrive until Wednesday. And it's right over the California Bight, which is a perfect track for heavy rain from San Diego up to Riverside and Anaheim. By Thursday, it is now just to our east. And so we're still feeling the influence of it and the backside of the storm. Here are some of the details. Take time to look at this. So um, the frontal band moves in late Sunday night and Monday morning. So you're going to see heavy precipitation developing from north to south, first across Orange and San Bernardino counties early Monday morning, and then spreading throughout the day on Monday across Western Riverside and San Diego County. Some of that rain will be heavy at times and uh, snow above 6,000 feet with gradually lowering, lowering snow levels uh, throughout the day on Monday as that cold front moves through. Now the main storm still lingers uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, and, and then finally exits on Thursday, but we're on the back side of it. So we'll still see some showers around, especially over the mountains and possibly with the deserts and some of the valleys on Thursday. But by far and large, Tuesday and Wednesday will be very wet, periods of heavy rain. Some of those embedded uh, rainfall rates could be as much as a quarter to half inch. And we will be talking about additional feet of snow up around 6,500, 7,000 feet on Tuesday, Wednesday, on top of the snow they already receive on Monday. So your grand totals are going to be large. Uh, metro areas, two to three inches 
of water with locally more mountain slopes, three to five inches of water with locally more because of this long duration, slow moving system with repeated bands of significant precipitation moving over the same areas. All right, here are the highlights. Quite confident uh, with the weather pattern. Uh, all the computer models continue to generally show that the storm will track slowly over the California bite between Monday and Wednesday, be right over Southern California on Wednesday, and really take its time exiting on Thursday. For widespread rounds of precipitation, initially with the cold front and atmospheric river, and then with the main storm system, energy from that and instability from that on Tuesday, and uh, all the way into Wednesday night. Snow levels will be at their lowest point um, on Wednesday night at their highest point uh, early Monday morning. Rainfall rates will be significant along the cold front on Monday and they'll also be significant if not locally heavier with the more energy and instability of the main storm center on Tuesday, Wednesday. Widespread one to three inches of rain, um, two to four in a lot of places. Uh, including the foothills with locally around five or snow in our coastal slopes. We're talking feet of snow up around 6,500 feet, feet of snow up around 6,500 feet, one to two feet of snow uh, with locally around three feet of snow when you get up to the base of some of the ski resort level areas. Please stay tuned for updates on weather.gov for any watches or warnings. You have been notified of this storm. It does have a potential for significant precipitation Numbers will change as they always do. Um, there's quite a, a bit of confidence on the track of this storm. The storm could shift a little bit south, could shift a little bit north. Right now, the projections are for the storm to take a pretty much direct track over extreme southwest California. Um, and that could bring at least moderate impacts, if not some high impacts to some areas because too much rain in the same areas or even too much snow over some of the higher terrain. Thanks for tuning in. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay home.